Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com. And today we're going to talk about serial or sequential expansion. And these are kind of my terms. I don't know if other people use them. But sometimes when you have a patient, you know, a younger patient that needs an expander, has a really tiny maxilla, a really vaulted palate, almost like the one right here, sometimes you have to do more than one expander. And that's why I want to bring the topic up because it can come at quite a shock, as quite a shock to the doctor and the patient and the parent if you don't bring it up at the beginning. So I usually mention at the beginning when I see like a palette like this, um, that this may happen and not to be surprised. So it really comes down to what the diameter of the jack screw that the lab uses. And that's actually something in a more severe case that you might want to ask. Um, their goal is to obviously put we, we don't want the appliance, you know, especially in a fixed appliance, we don't want it hanging too low because we want the tongue to be able to go up to the roof of the mouth. Otherwise, it's going to affect the airway and the tongue position of the patient. So we want them to use a nice slim one so that it fits as flush as it can to the roof of the mouth to, as so not to affect all that. But the bigger one that you use, you know, the more the lower it's gonna have to sit. Does that make sense? So usually it's not something that they ask you about. They just pick whatever one fits best and usually it's not a big deal. But on a more severe patient like this, it is a big deal because let's say they're using a seven millimeter jack screw. Well, a seven millimeter jack screw has a total of 28 turns you can get in there. Well, 28 turns is probably maybe not enough sometimes, you know? So, cause I mean, think about this. I normally am gonna do on an average case, two turns a week for 13 weeks. Well, that's pretty much about 28 turns. So you might max it out. I call it max it out. That means it gets to a point where it no longer turns. It shouldn't unravel and fall apart. There should be like an end thing where it just doesn't turn anymore. Like you've exhausted all the turns that are possible in that appliance. And in that situation, it's best to go ahead and hold for a little while, maybe for a month or two, just you know, you've been doing a ton of turns, let's stabilize it. Then take it out um, and go ahead and rescan. Put it back in after you rescan to stabilize it, otherwise you're gonna relapse, and then deliver the new appliance. So it takes a little bit longer. You're talking about another three or four months. So, you know, good question to ask. You should know about how big your jack screw is. You can't tell, I've, I've had ones that someone would say a seven or 11 on them. I think this, those are the two different sizes, but, if you think it's a severe case, ask what size jack screw they used, um, just so you have an idea of if you're gonna need to do serial or sequential expansion. And same thing can happen with a removable appliance as well, same thing. All right, thanks so much.